Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning, the 30th of December and um, we're going to come together and read again this morning. We started yesterday into the book of Proverbs, so this morning we are on Proverbs chapter 2. So let's read this together. My child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insights and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield for those who walk with integrity. He guards the path of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill, your, will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people and those from, and from those whose words are twisted. These men turn away from the right way to walk down dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong. They enjoy the twisted ways of evil. Their actions are crooked and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from immoral women, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. She's abandoned her husband. She ignores the covenant she made before God. Entering her house leads to death. It is the road to the grave. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the paths of life. Follow the steps of good men instead and stay on the paths of the righteous. For only the godly will live in the land and those with integrity will remain with it. But the wicked will be removed from the land and the treacherous will be uprooted. Amen. That's Proverbs chapter 2. Um, Solomon starts to introduce to us how important wisdom is and being wise. And there are all sorts of wisdom out there. We talk about being streetwise and being worldly wise. Uh, but Solomon wants us to be wise from the point of view of God's eyes. Wise from the point of view of following and, and living the way we should do, living by God's standards and not the world's standards. You know, we, we, we have that tension, don't we, as Christians, as followers of Jesus, that um, we have the Bible and what it tells us, and yet we have the world around us and what it says to us. And okay, everything will be all right. But it's that tension of who do we listen to? Who do we believe? Who do we follow? And the thing is, God wants us to follow his ways, the ways which are laid out in the Bible. Um, the end of that chapter starts to lay out, it talks about following a promiscuous woman. And I was going to talk about in the following chapters about what it is, to, you know, and how, how you fall off by, by being led astray. Um, that has such a, a meaning because the people, the Israelites, were led astray by false gods and false standards and quite often how they behaved was mirrored through the language of adultery how they 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 lusted after something which wasn't for them they lusted after something they shouldn't and how it caused them to sin and we're, we're the same there's so many things which come into our paths which we lust after which we want but which are not healthy for us and we need to keep our eyes firmly fixed on God. So as we draw it close to the end of this year, we've got one more day and then we hit the new year. Let's think about what it means for us at the start of the new year to keep our eyes firmly fixed upon God, upon his standards and about how he wants us to live so that we bring glory and honour to him but also so that we have a richer relationship with God. Because the closer we walk to his standards, the more closely we are aligned, then the richer that relationship is. 
And the richer that relationship, then the more we rely upon him, the more we realise how much strength that he gives us for day-to-day -day life. Because life is hard. And at the minute, for lots of families, life is tough. So let's draw our strength from God. Let's pause. Let's pray this morning. Father, again, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for how it teaches us about wisdom coming from you and not from ourselves. And how we need to listen to you and what you teach us. Lord, over these next number of days as we read through Proverbs, please give us ears to hear. Lord, we know at times that Proverbs to us can seem very confusing, um, even contradictory. But Lord, help us to, 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 to work our way through it, to find a path through it, a path which leads us to trusting you more and more each day. Lord, just thank you for all your goodness and your provision for us. Lord, thank you again for the news this morning that another vaccine has been improved for us. We continue to pray for those who are not well in hospital. Uh, Father, that you just be near them and help them this morning. And for those who are caring for them, uh, everybody who's involved in that care, Lord, from, from cleaners who are keeping environments safe right the way through to nurses and doctors and specialists. Lord, the, the whole team who are involved, may your hand of protection be upon all of them. You look after them and care for them. So Lord, continue with us now, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for watching this morning. Great to see you. Um, and I'll see you again tomorrow at around about half nine again. In the meantime, take care. God bless. Bye.